We have a match, we have racers. You do when you have a match, because who else is gonna race, right? Yeah. We got Lance Drago, who is uh, Lego C, I think. Wait, no, it's not Lego C, that's... Uh, I forgot his name, from... Brand New Animal. The hit anime show from last year. Versus, or two years ago? Versus Yorkie! Oh, who is a... Who is a Nico arc like cat girl with panties. On, on the top. So true. Yeah. Those are some crazy eyes. I forgot his name, the guy on the left. He's one of the, like, police people. Uh oh. Thing middle of the pack is Lance Drago's special ability, and Yorgo can travel forward in time at a rate of one second per second. Does that mean it goes twice as fast or a regular? I just recently tested a game where they said, oh, you can't beat this level, it softlocks you, but there's just a whole button that wasn't being pressed that gives you an ability to get past that. So it's always fun to play more things. Hmm. Yorkie has... I, it says first edition, but I feel like they've been around for a while. It seems like they know people at least. Lance Drago took a break for a really long time and then came back after a while. Wait, fifth during MT12? That's a pretty good placement. That's a strong player. Uh, placement did I get last one? What? Strongest me. Uh, yeah, you got. I remember. I remember doing very badly. Well, you have fourth or fifth. It's one of those two. But I don't. Remember oh, sorry, I got fourth. Back. I thought. Sure. You meant, I thought you meant it's like both. You know, like how fifth to eight is usually the same placement or something. Why is this song going so? Oh, we're playing. We're playing one of your favorite games, Maurice. I didn't even see what was being played yet. Well, I did. Wahoo! Wahoo. That means we're playing Splash Lake, right? No, no, that's your favorite game. Oh, that's right, that's right. Wait, this isn't Cat Rap. I, I feel like Cat Trap might just be your favorite. <laughs> N nothing can top Cat Trap. Good game. <laughs> Both of these players did not play a good game, at least. They didn't do so well in it. Let's see what happened. Yorkie played against Mari Moritz, who I played against after that, I guess. In Rolling Thunder 3. What kind of game is that? Uh, it's... It's kind of like... Shinobi, where you walk forward and you can jump to the background, and but you have a gun. It, you're, you're a... You're, uh, I think someone said in the race comment, you're a sternly walking man, and you have a gun. We have to vodcast that one. That was a double. Okay. Um, and then, actually, the, the Pyramid Magic race was really close. Um, That's the one so, where we had a lot of broken backs. Yes. Uh, I, I think Puzzle might not be Lance Drago's strong suit, but at the same time, they were they were neck and neck basically the whole race. So that wasn't like a bad performance it, it was a close one the rolling thunder 3 i don't i haven't seen the match so i'm not sure how that went but i know that that game ended up being really hard i don't want to spoil anything but i feel like yorkie lost yorkie did lose actually i do know what happened Mari Moritz finished at like an hour 31 or something like he was like right at the end so they were like well we'll let him finish so it all it basically went to time okay it was it was a really difficult game for them that's unusual. Have we seen an actual game go to tie, uh, time yet? I don't think so. No, we have not yet. Unless you count that one. Yeah, and I... well, I, have we seen? No, I haven't seen it. 
<laughs> yeah, that's what I hear that it happened. I've seen the game name. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, Pyramid oh. Magic was fun. That seemed like a cool name. It had, yeah. it had a stupid continue system. Maybe it could it could have used a cheat code. That's true. It's, uh... I wonder if that has anything to do with the fact that it was a Satella view game. I wonder if they, like, couldn't do battery saves because there was no cartridge. Pickle 9 and chat going like, like one of those... What's the truck really announcers? Mystery, mystery, mystery! This Wednesday! On the Mystery Funhouse channel! Steam, but you only need the edge! <laughs> Tune in as Lance Drago and Yorkie trade punches in a game! And the game is... Hold on. Do you have a game yet? No. I was too fast. This, so, the, the thing about that, uh... I've never once seen that in my whole life, uh, and I I used to watch you know I watch TV commercials as a kid all the time. Don't watch very many anymore, but um, it, you know it's like a stereotypical American thing. I've never seen it. Yes, I agree. <laughs> Maybe it's just not in my. I area. mean, you live you live very northwest. I think this is more it's of a true. southeast kind of thing. Yeah, well, well there, there's people, there's people doing it, probably out in like certain areas around here. I just never really saw the commercials. <laughs> Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday! At the Megadome! Megadome! <laughs> uh, and I've never seen a Monster Truck Rally either, but they, they'd probably be fun. Seems a little scary. I've seen some where those monster trucks are getting pretty close to crushing everybody in the crowd. I don't know if it'd be worth it. I don't trust these people. Who are these people driving the monster trucks? I mean, they seem pretty good at it, usually. I feel like they're only there because they own the big truck, though. I don't, like, it's not like... <laughs> oh, man, we got it by Steve like... just because he owns the Death Killer? Ugh. Yeah, because, I mean, <laughs> there's only so many Death Killer trucks out there, and so, like... You can't just be like, well, you also have to be incredibly trained and own this giant truck. <laughs> Alright, check it out. We have a game. The game is called Ball Cube. Ball Cube. Ball Cube. <laughs> the, the great thing is that ball is misspelled. I don't know what it actually refers to because it doesn't refer to a ball because it's not a ball. It's uh, a cube. Well, but it's like moving like a ball. Yeah, well, I... I suppose. It's moving like a ball in Arkanoid. It's moving no like a ball! In, no balls in reality move like this. But this is a fantastic game. This is the best Arkanoid game. It is, yes. If you can find a better Ar one... Arkanoid is a terrible game, and somehow this it makes it good. Yeah. Uh, we're seeing the demo here. So basically, uh, since I'll explain it since the demo's going, you have full control over your cube. Um... And you, you have full control over your cube. Just you are like, unlike, just like in real life. Other than the bouncing up and down. You have full control left and right, I guess. <laughs> yeah, and the backgrounds are cool. It's like a bunch of It's like Austrian of, stuff. Like... Yeah, it's just Austria. <laughs> yeah. Or Switzerland, it's like Austria, who knows. And then, and then maybe like Holland or like... Uh... This, is, <laughs> this is not Holland. What the hell are you talking about? Well, it changes locations. I don't know. Holland is the flattest is like country on Earth. The New Schwanstein, or however you say it. Oh well, yeah, that, the, yeah, that's right? Germany. But I mean, if you ask me, this is probably Switzerland or Austria on the left. Mame, we love Mame. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> We hate MAME, <laughs> but it it runs a lot of games, so that's fun. MAME is made by aliens. Yeah. Like, aliens came to Earth, they told us how MAME works, and people pretended to understand it because, I mean, you don't want to look stupid in front of the aliens. But then, <laughs> really, we didn't. MAME is like, uh, it's like outsider art. Like, the people had no influence through, like, other software. <laughs> yeah, I software. know what you mean. So they made this software entirely on their own. No, York, you don't want to set the controls when you're not in the game. What do you think? This is a normal emulator? You can't do this. You can do it, but it's way easier to set controls once you're already in the game. Um, 
I like outsider art. It's what people say about uh, the cave story music. That Pixel basically has no idea how to make music, <laughs> but still does a really good job at it, but it's just really weird and unusual. Well, he wrote that thing. He wrote the music thing himself. Six tune. <laughs> yeah, button 16. Button 16 is really important. <laughs> Oh my god, Yorkie doesn't right. have button 16 belt. This is this is a dumb <laughs> race. This is over. Think about what arcade game is gonna be button 16. <laughs> That's awesome. Also player one. Okay. Like all the players have 16 buttons plus six. Some sort of like piano arcade game? <laughs> I mean, th th there's a piano. I played it. Uh, What is it called? It's like a word that's just an adjective that means like good. Piano arcade game. Oh no. Um. So, if I remember right, ball cube, you only have one button. You move left and right, and then you have a button to go fast. Am I remembering that correctly? It's called nostalgia. The game has a lot of that. But I think it's actually more than sixteen. So this one. All right. So what? You move left and right. Is there a button to go fast? Uh, let's check the base bin. Use the base bin. Uh, default controls are insert coins, start, pause. Useful. Move and launch the cube at the start. Speed up the cube in play. Yeah, okay. An important button. Button A is way better than button 16. <laughs> So much better. I think it's actually button one, and it's just written badly in the paste bin. Hopefully, Yorkie figures well, no, that it's, out. Well, no, it's the default bind. Oh, okay. it, it doesn't tell you which button this actually is, so that's kind of an issue. So you have to remember. I sure hope Yorkie remembered. <laughs> Wait, what? In Steel Battalion, there's a wiper button and a washer fluid button? <laughs> yeah, that, don't you know Steel Battalion? It's got this, no, like, I don't know what that is. it's got this huge controller and, like, foot pedals to move a mech around. It's freaking awesome. It's super awesome. Dude, when's that coming to MT? Oh my gosh. Well, it is the kind of game if they have another mystery tournament at AGDQ, they could do it there. This is crazy! <laughs> I'm seeing this controller. Yeah, at Gamescom there's a group that always has a bunch of these setups where you can play against each other. And then you go, um, it goes like, oh no, press the, the heat reduction button and you press all the buttons and your windshield wipers go on. It's like when you watch someone who's new to driving and it's just like they have their windshield wiper on at all times. <laughs> yeah, that's... I've, be I've definitely been in somebody's car and turned it off from the passenger seat before. <laughs> They're so constant. Oh, we're going. It's Wednesday. Right now. <laughs> One. Go. Go. Ball cube. So I don't even know how long this game is. I tried to beat it one time, but I got a it was a it was a little long. Uh, the um, Audio. there's a like kind of long play on YouTube, but then. It cuts off. It, they lose at level seventy-four, and then they just—that's the end of the thing when they lose. <laughs> so I don't know how much further okay, it goes. Ah, uh, Lance Drago said he has audio, but he doesn't. Ah, uh, 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 Yorkie has a microphone. Anyway. Oh yeah, Mr. Zimbu, this is your original sub. Uh, Welcome. Is, up? Uh, so yeah, we we have these like things at the bottom, and. You can't hit the same one twice in a row. Yeah, in later levels, or maybe because of certain power-ups, sometimes you get, like, a big one at the bottom. Um, and that makes it a little harder because the gap is bigger if you hit that one. Um, you can see the big ones on the corners on Yorkie's screen. Um, but other than that... The rules are pretty simple. Yeah, you pre you press A to speed up. Some of these power ups are really good, and they're in consistent spots. So, um, oh, aimed right for the hole there. Nice, hit it perfectly. Uh, 
unlike most arcade games, you don't start literally right where you were. You start back at the beginning of the level. Oh yeah, this is some like Bavarian house right here on Yorkies. There's a Bavarian castle there. House. I mean, this must be just an actual photograph of a place. How many castles could there be? I don't live in Europe. Maybe there's more than I thought. There's a lot of castles. Hundreds. Um, I don't know. I assume this game is Japanese. Just because. Of course, this game no is Japanese. This no is most... American makes anything this like. Yeah, and, and <laughs> this they, they don't call it ball not cube. Exciting in an arcade. <laughs> Americans have to have big guns and explosions for their arcade games. And yeah, they need. Uh... What was the game? I forgot already. The game Yorkie lost. Uh, Rolling Thunder. Yeah, Rolling Thunder 3. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, but, well, actually, oh for arcade, you get a lot of countries making games, though. We have some cool, uh, there's a Spanish arcade developer I've played a few games from. So every time you hit the bottom, or most of the time you hit the bottom, apparently, uh, the, the port will move down. And... As we see on Lance Drago, if the board moves below the red line at the bottom, you also lose. You top out, basically. Yeah, so you need to be efficient. The levels are made so you have to, like, get yourself caught up there. Um, yeah, just like any Arkanoid game. Yeah, but you... It, Unlike some Arkanoid where you just go faster if you do that, in this game, you, like, will lose if you don't do it. Oh, um, V. V is good. V just makes absolutely. you win. V is for win. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> vanish. I like vanish because it's it's a weird... <laughs> it's it is not a weird like word, yes. destroy. It's oh, no. like, well, are they still there or can we just not see them? I guess it doesn't matter. And Strago had the lead, but it's now just a bit, little bit ahead because literally aimed for the gap. Yeah, it, it's... When you're watching this, it's like, why would they ever lose? But it's easier than it looks. It, it moves pretty fast, and you... It's easier than it looks? Wow. It's easier to lose than it looks. Oh. Oh no, don't collect the P, that's just points, everyone. Yeah, the, the um, power-ups are all spelled out in the pacement. Oh, Yorkie nice. lost right as the level changed. So it's now on the next level. Nice. Also, if you clear the screen and then come down, it doesn't continue to only move one line. Oh, it, what? What was it that? It, like, moves to the next section. Yorkie yeah, just, unfortunate for Yorkie. just fell off a cliff. And you get like a little mini map of your whole level layout on the right, which is pretty cool. Yeah, you can see what's coming up. You can anticipate. Look at this. Uh, look at the sort of cage that they're in that's encasing the game area. I never really looked at this. It's like some sort of like Parthenon. Sure. Let's say arrow. Oh, we, we go through blocks now. Yeah, arrow just means piercing it could also be like bad though, because like now every time like every cycle it's gonna move down by one. Oh no yeah this this moving block is just like an obstacle i forget what it does exactly i think you just bounce off of it so you just gotta be careful the kind of floating ethereal block And we have the level nicely uh, indicated on the left. It's a great game for streaming too. Yeah, I hate it when the games doesn't don't do that. You're like, oh, which level are they on? Who knows? Let's wait for the level transition screen. All right, so this was raced before an MT15. So I should have a time in this because I raced this and I loved it. Let's, let's see what it is. On the ball, no. Kirby's block ball, dragon ball, adventure ball, oh god. Uh, <laughs> it's ball cube. Ball cube. 
Cube. So many ball games. All right, ball cube beat level twenty six. Oh yeah, that's the same goal we're doing. One for every letter of the alphabet. Uh, exactly. Thirty five minutes and a little bit. So not potentially too long, but also two people forfeit that race, and the the longest time was an hour and six minutes. So a game. Uh, I, I feel like. It, it, <laughs> I feel like that's pretty atypical. What do you mean? I don't think these players are going to take an hour and six minutes based on what I'm seeing so far. I guess Yorkie is still on four, but he he's getting there. I mean, the game gets hotter. So. so I assume slow will make the board move slower. And start over yeah, which actually is not bad. Like, slow is pretty good in well, yeah. this race. Yeah, you don't want to have the board move too fast. Lance has to be careful. Without the slow, it's like three movements until he's dead. Clear. Just from the back. Level 7. Look how wacky this level number looks. Oh, on the left? Yeah, I was looking at the one in the like white text and I was like, that's pretty normal enough. <laughs> but I see what you're saying now. Maybe it's not the German style 7. The German style 7? I'm just making that up. I don't I don't think that exists. I mean, I, I write my 7s with a line through them. I guess you could call a lot that of people a German... Do that. Okay. I don't, but a lot of people do. That's how it was taught to me. Also, I, I avoid writing... I, I do put a hook on the 7. I put I put the hook on the left. Okay, we got option, which makes us smaller. We got C, which... Both of these make us smaller. Yeah, well, they're in the pace bin. Here, let's see. Okay, O is option. Cube will destroy any block in one hit. Oh, that's pretty good. And C will change your size. Uh, twin spawns a second cube. I don't know if I've really seen that one yet. Nope. We'll change end option. We're small and powerful. Lance Drago is doing a good job at staying up. That's an A. Good DA. Uh, yeah, arrow. That's pretty good. But he's very tight knit. Patterns. Because you have a speed up button and you're racing, it makes you feel like you should just be doing it all the time. But you shouldn't. Oh no! Because then that happens. Pulls down the hole that he just created. Yorkie has a lot of problems with level 4 here. Has been stuck on 4 for 4 minutes. Stock nothing. <laughs> Instead of just saying 0, it says nothing in English text. <laughs> Very strange. Um, yeah, I'm surprised that Yorkie is still on stage. They're, they're moving through. They gotta destroy more things from the top, I think. So you can stay up there. You do... One of the things that makes it hard oh. to control the cube is that you bounce when you hit either the edge of the arena or the edge of a... Uh, block. Tile. I don't know what to call them. Some of them are vases. <laughs> I mean, this is a Japanese game, so we have like a, like a weird name that still kind of fits like Target or something. <laughs> yeah, true. I made ball cubes. Let's see. Metro Corporation. Retro Co. Oh, that's even that made Metro Prime, right? No. <laughs> they didn't. Their uh, <laughs> their games are all over the place. It's nothing like that anyone is like a big fan of. <laughs> well, I'm a big fan of Ball Cube. No, other than Ball Cube, like there's no one. You know, they did make Bust a Groove too. <laughs> I mean, yeah, not Bust makes Groove. sense. Kind of game. V. Oh, there's a V. There's a V. Get the V. Get the V. And Strago, oh, barely got the V, Jesus. Then dies. Maybe shouldn't have gotten the V. <laughs> no, should you should always get the V. V's good. 
What happens when you fill the cube on the left? Is it just a level? Yeah, that's the level progress. Ah. The ball cube to fill the, the ball cube. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be a clear from Yoki. Taking it safe. Going through the middle. I like it. A good call. But, and even though these metal cubes oh, seem yeah, like they're yeah. different. You have to destroy the metal cubes anyway. But maybe you it was do, like. Yeah. Like you can ignore them. Level 5. Yeah, this game needs like an announcer. Oh, I wish we could hear anything. Does Yorkie have no audio? Yorkie has a microphone. Oh, they both do? Uh, Lance Drago has no audio. Uh. We're all deceived for another audio. Oh, I'll look up the ball to you, low ST. Probably Is really good. It's probably this, this like, piano music, which doesn't fit at all. I, I would love to hear it. Yeah, here we go. Here's the playlist. <laughs> Paul keeps screaming when it dies. You have forsaken me! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, like, does a title drop? Oh my god, we, we keep going like this. The gap at the bottom is so tiny, and yet we s keep falling through it. It's a little painful to see every time it happens. It is. It is hard, and it makes you feel bad <laughs> because you know how small the gap is. Hey, get that V! Get that V! Don't let it get away. There we go. Ah, no. I was never a big fan of arcade games that are just just a screen with buttons, you know? Like I can't imagine playing this in the arcade, spending money on this. Just as it... oh, I would play this in the arcade for sure. Yeah, but it doesn't. Like I can play this at home. Like we you, we we got ball cube at home. I see. <laughs> so. So, well, that's because emulation exists. I mean, at this time... Well, but also play. other games like this, like this. Like, if I go to the arcade, I'm gonna play, I don't know, light gun games or rhythm games or right. something with where the arcade cabinet is the appeal of the game. Yeah? Right. Oh my god, that was close for that. That was really close. Or Ice Cold Beer, have you ever played that one? Oh, Ice Cold Beer is so good. It's so fun. They, they make new Ice Cold Beers? And they had a bunch of them next to our Gamescom booth, and I played it a lot. And I asked oh, them, new ones. "Yeah, it's like a licensed thing with Taita." Uh, I asked them how much for one of these, and it's it was like eight thousand euros, like a ridiculous number for what is a pretty simple oh game God. with like with like two server motors in it. It's it's not like <laughs> like pinball machines are way more complicated, and those also cost about eight thousand. What a, it's a ridiculous price. Yeah, that's really well. The th you have to tune the uh, backwards angle of the of the stage mm. just right. Yeah, it's got to lean. <laughs> you need to use like uh, industrial calibrated equipment. My Lance Drago. Oh, oh, I was gonna Lance say Drago, like no. it's about to finish level nine here, but it's not. What with this You're on level six. There's still time to catch up. Oh yeah, we 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 got all the letters of the alphabet. Yeah. yeah, I yeah I guess that's I mean twenty six is such an arbitrary goal, but like whatever, you got to stop sometime. <laughs> One could argue that any other round number goal is also arbitrary, just because we use yeah decimal. I don't want to stray too far from the match, but I agree. Using decimal system is so weird. We got ten fingies. Oh yeah, that's that's, that's, that's such a dumb reason that we use it. <laughs> oh, why can't I divide my my full number by three or four? Well, because I don't know evolution, I guess. <laughs> Should have used. Uh, well, see, this is what twelve base. <laughs> Again, I don't. <laughs> but I just have to mention. There's a. This is why people say that. Uh, 
like American like measurements are better, like foot mm. because there's twelve inches in a foot. I don't think anyone but except for Americans says that. Well, yeah, I wouldn't say it either, but I'm just saying some people say that. Um, but I just don't. It's like only useful for a foot. Like, because then there's a mile has 5,280 feet, and all of a sudden it's not very useful anymore. <laughs> all right, let's see how we're doing. Yorki is doing pretty well on this. Doing really fast, which I don't know if that's a good idea. And Landstrago looking pretty good, but also looked pretty good last time, and then just died when it came to these diamond blocks. Yorkie is in a pretty tough spot here. Ah, I don't okay. Know. Could, could get them from the top. Has to look out with these angled tiles because they will move your ball around. Nice. Okay, this was. Oh god, masterful. don't go below. Oh, don't go under. Yeah, <laughs> go above. Yeah. 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 That's a safe spot. Let's try go beat nine, by the way. Has a V on screen. It's maybe. So. A strategy could be to move the board down on purpose and then get the V and not to go into the tiny hole. It's not true, White Panther. We also use yards for golf. Yeah. And for nickel bars. Oh, really? I think you can buy a yard of nickel bars. Oh yeah, so a that's three feet. Get the V! Get the V! We got... Oh, got the V! <gasps> we got the V. Just barely. Oh, this is not good. Well, this is right side is a bad way. idea. Right side is a bad idea. Yeah, you're done. You go right side, you're... you're yeah. You're restarting that level. Yorkie's catching up. Whoa, oh, okay, going... <laughs> going Super Saiyan right there. That was too much. <laughs> catching up anyway. <laughs> level 8. <laughs> He used 100% oh, of his power, and it wasn't good. Okay, so Lance is being smart here. He's saying, I'm going to get this V as late as possible. No, he's not. Never mind. <laughs> uh, what? The, the hole was right there. Don't go in it. But you could do that as a strategy and get the V as late as possible, because the V affects yeah. what's on screen. Yeah, I agree. Vanish is also a multi ball in Theater of Magic. Pretty good control tape. Magic. Vanish term. Oh my god, there's there's so many blocks. Nestrogo has to get to the left without touching the ground. Ah, oh, not gonna happen. I think the Vanish is actually kind of a trap because after the Vanish, the whole board is gonna move down by four. There's quite a lot. Especially since there's so many blocks at the top. Hmm. Let's see. I mean, a trap so much that you think they shouldn't even try and use it, or? Well, no, you just have to be careful. Yeah. Oh, Yorkie. Oh! Oh! Looking good for Lance. Only has this P That left. was a bad bat for Yorkie. P stands for bulk cube. <laughs> bulk cube. Oh, arrow! The game arrow is good. Ball cube. I mean, what the hell is ball cube? It's not. It's nonsense. Well, we are a cube. Behave like a ball. <laughs> you don't in any way behave like a ball. I, mean, I guess it's an it's arcanoid ball. ball. Yeah. Why? Why isn't it a ball then? Why is it a ball? Uh. Copyright. <laughs> Imagine that. You can't say ball. <laughs> I invented the ball. Yeah. Gotta sue all the topologists out there. Oh, I didn't even see that silver block on Yorkie's screen. It blended in with this uh, this villa so well. This is this this isn't awesome. This is like Italy. It looks a little like Greece. Or like Greece, me. yeah. Like, not really, it's missing a bit of blue, but also the the quality is so bad. Could be Italy. Could be, um, like, Pidan. 
just Slovenia, but basically Italy. I was just gonna, I was literally gonna say I've been to Piran in Slovenia and oh. it looked a lot like Yeah, this. me too. Yeah, it's a beautiful city. I love that city. It, it looks like Italy, but it's in Slovenia. It's really weird. That's pretty close, you know. You can like see Italy from that city. I can see it You're from my house. <laughs> Impossible game. Reject. <laughs> I can't think of very many games that do this. They just use like scenic photographs for a uh, Tetris CDI. Yeah, I was it? I was gonna say Tetris CDI, but like animated <laughs> like... backgrounds, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, like a waterfall. Yeah, they like animate like part of it. It's it's still very very lightly animated. Okay. <laughs> Right, this this looking pretty good for lands. Yeah, I like this. Has to get above these things, maybe. I oh, just bashes them. Oh, it gets above smart. So many points. Option. I mean, okay. An option is useful. This all these blocks take one hit anyway. I like how some of them are treasure chests. Oh no! Oh, way too fast. Yeah. This game has the biggest Icarus system of them all. <laughs> and that's gonna be a level clear for Yorkie. Onto level 9, which gave Lance Draco a lot of issues. Level 9. Which one was the one that tripped Lance up for so long? Was that 10? Wait, I thought it was 9, but maybe you're right. Okay. I think both of uh, these. Nine, 9 and 10. 9 went pretty hard. Well, there's a Vanish. That helps a lot. Part of the reason why it looks so janky is because they're like pushing against it when they bounce so they're immediately moving back in the other direction yeah. but it, it, it is a little janky it's a really fast bounce and you got to be careful there's also a speed up button and you can't tell when they're pressing it because we like we don't have some oh. input indicator on okay screen. gets in there it's not gonna get the vanish you you maybe you don't want to vanish uh, i mean this is fine works it does i'm just concerned about the edges there but we're making it happen Oh. oh, beautiful. Use the metal to keep yourself up. I like that. Oh, the perfect clear. Never mind. We almost got that. <laughs> Wait, it still moved down by four, even though there was one left. What a ripoff. Yeah, I think it moves to, like... How do I forget how it works exactly? Well, maybe at least four from the top. Yeah. And then plus one. Oh! oh. So close, but Landstriker is going to beat level... No, wait, this is not the end of level 13. The ball cube is not full. We've got circles! Oh my god. These are the balls we were talked to, we were told about. These are the balls. We have become ball and cube. In, in German... It would be a good name for the sequel. In, ball in, and cube. In German, when you talk about football, and like you say the round thing has to go into the, the G thing. Like as a, as a, you wanna... Oh, really? They could just be used as generic? Well, we say, I mean, soccer ball. I guess ball could be anything. We do say goal, though. That kind of only means a couple things. Oh, this arrow is really good. Music is off. Oh, no! Oh! Just a little bit hitting the bottom too fast, moving the whole board down. But I had a level. So on to level 14. Yoki having problems with nine. The so Lance Drago kind Level of maintains his lead. Start. It just like gives you two at the beginning so you can just anticipate your eventual demise. Ah. <laughs> Every time I see the ball fall into those tiny gaps, like like that, like at the bottom, 
it's like, oh no! <laughs> How could you let this happen? But I also remember oh, playing this game, and every time it happened to me, I felt like a huge idiot. I think that's actually my race <laughs> yeah. comment, hold on. My game's comment is, this game has taught me I suck at video games. <laughs> Because, yeah, every, it happens so often that you always think, wow, it's like an eighth of the bottom there. How could I let it happen three times in a row? There, again! <laughs> yeah, I, so I, so part, partly it's because they have to be in a certain spot of the level in order to complete it. Yeah, that's They true. need to be in that same spot, and there's a reason that they were there in the first place, so the fact that they hit it again isn't that crazy. That's true. But es also, especially when the board I, is so far down. Yeah. I think partially, because this game is a race, I think the players do worse. Because you're incentivized to speed up, and if you were playing this casually, oh, you might not ever speed up. I get no... Oh. I feel like no speed up ball cube might have a better average time than <laughs> speed up ball cube. No run Super Mario World. I'll get the vanish. Oh no! No! Hitting the bottom moved everything down and then couldn't get the V. The V for win. Oh, this P gave us a hundred points. Breaking each of these blocks gave us a thousand points earlier. The P power up sucks. It's not even good, like, if you wanted to use it. Not even big points, it's small points. Yeah, it's tiny points. Isn't small points a thing that you see sometimes? In pinball? No. Yeah. No, like no, there's only big points. Oh, okay. Points. Okay, so I would move the bot down here. Don't, don't even destroy these things. Move the bot down, get above them. Because you know what's coming up, you know there's that gap, right? Same thing here. Don't, don't destroy them yet. Move it down a little bit and then go above it. Here. Right here, for example. Oh, thank you, Internet Dirigible, for subscribing with Prime Gaming. No problem. I wanted to be able to say big points. Oh. <laughs> I think I have that too. Do I emote? Points. Vanish. It's a pretty early, early vanish, but it's not like you could have waited for much of this. Well, speaking of Super Level Mario 15. World. Dude, 15 was flipping out over there. Another cool thing about this game is like that cube on the left is totally useless because you can already see your level progress on the mini-map, but it makes it look like it's some sort of like mystical crystal ball thing. Yeah. And there's some sort of ball cube lore. Oh, Tom's geez. going hard. <laughs> And Stuka doing a really good job here, but Yorki also getting close to the end of level nine, which has has, has had him stuck for quite a while now. Oh, this is dangerous! This is so dangerous! Has to get above these! Has to get above! Ah, it doesn't work out. Those metal diamonds really killed him. And Stuka on sixteen. Meanwhile, we are sixteen by nine here. Oh my gosh. Oh, don't, don't let the time run out. Oh, Landstriker is keeping the V. I like it. I now get the V. Yeah. Damn, vanish. Oh, but now you have to be careful because the whole bot kind of moved down. Get above these. Oh, it gets oh, hit by the cube. Stupid. It's hit by the ball cube. <laughs> the, those are the... That's the ball cube. Yeah. You're not the ball cube. <laughs> Your name is Harry. It's like in Hollow Knight or something. Oh, beautiful. This has to get through this last layer, and honestly, this doesn't look very hard. Yeah, Vanish is a full screen clear. Insane name for it, but that's what it is. <laughs> uh, power ups are consistent, though, in this game. They always spawn in the exact same spot on every level, which is good. Yeah. This game would be uh, reject if that were. Oh, right, Yorkie, you have to get above the Bart. Get above. Oh, oh beautiful. Okay, yeah, so move one further down so you can start working on those diamonds at the top. 
I don't know if Yorkie did it on purpose, but it's smart regardless. Two vanishes? Oh my gosh, three vanishes? Ah, oh, Yorkie falls in the hole! And Strago, too close to the board, but it doesn't matter. Wait, it does matter. It's at the end of 17. Yeah. Oh, Hampuri, don't be silly. The pass-through wall is arrow. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> it's like option, you know? Option is the weirdest name for power-up in any side-scrolling shoot-em-up. Why does every game have it? Like, if, if well, it, it, it doesn't tell me anything about what it's gonna do. Like, option. Oh, yeah, sure. Why not? I don't know if that games themselves call it option. I feel like people have just taken the call. No, it's literally called no. Option. No, it's literally called option. It's like at the bottom when you choose which power up to get. Also, in this game, there's also option, and what it does is make your ball cube stronger. Yeah, know. option in this game is totally breaking the rules. It doesn't give you a little ball cube that shoots lasers. Yeah, that would be cool though. Who has to get through these blocks faster than he is? Ah, uh, Drago dies at the start of 18. Yorkie. Still not clearing 9. It's giving Lance Drago so much time to, like, build elite. No, Yoki, no, don't go to the right! That's where the blocks are! Oh. Just hits the bottom a bit too, too hard. Oh, these blocks are, like... Not even aligned to anything. Fun to see an average person play this. Are you in ball cube extraordinaire? Are you a ball cube speedrunner? <laughs> I hope so. Classic ball cube world championship. And Lensrager has to get above these blocks because he has to destroy the left side. He has to destroy some of these walls? Yeah, this is gonna work out. Well, you can tell us then, how many levels does this game have? Does it repeat? Two point one million. Uh, I think our players are quite far away from that. All these game yeah. overs really don't help. Yoki's on zero points. <laughs> that's true. That's 2.18 million away, actually. Hmm, let me do the math. Yeah, that's right. Landstrago has taken such a lead. Yorkie has been stuck on 9 even longer than Landstrago had been. And... I mean, at some point, Elite becomes insurmountable. That reminds me, Hempuli, for some reason, saying that uh, there was this video when Flappy Bird was popular that was going around that was like, this is what happens at the end of Flappy Bird, and it was like a <laughs> bunch of, like... Pipes coming out oh, of that's a vanish. And the... Oh, the vanish oh, to beat the level! That's doing it. And I had a several friends who, like, thought that it was real. I'm like, no, there's, this isn't real. <laughs> you don't understand. <laughs> there's no way that this happens. <laughs> to get above. Oh, but does a really good job getting above. This is going to be a clear. At least of this part. I think the next part is also part of the level, so... Maybe you could, like, mentally prepare yourself. Oh, so the right side seems to be easier to get through for the next part. Since you have nothing better to do while clearing out these blocks. Ah, oh, beautiful. Actually, really well done by Lance Drago. This is gonna clear level 20. That's something crazy happens. Ah, it's important to stay small. That makes a lot of sense.
Wait, do you... Yeah, you would have more fine movement, I guess. That, may, that makes sense, Do you too. turn unsmall if you collect another... You do. D. D, yeah. Right? Yeah. I'll say yeah, that makes sense. You can get... Oh, see, a lens trigger is doing it. Yeah. Purposely avoiding that C. But oh, this is a lot of blocks in this level. This is like Link's wet dream. Room is full of pots. <laughs> <laughs> You do it in Dragon Quest, too. You just go and have people's... It's like, the more realistic the games get, the weirder it is. Like, in Dragon Quest XI, oh, no. you just, like... You see them just, like, pick up pots in people's houses and smash them on the ground while they're standing right there. <laughs> you know, in, like, Link to the Past or something, it's like, okay, well, you know. The suspension of belief here anyway, but... <laughs> Oh, do peas build up the more you get in a row? Probably, like, exponential. Okay. Yeah, because these peas seem like... 100 and then... 400. 400, point. probably something like that. Up to 10,000, okay. You were 11. And the, the Dragon Crest heroes not have names? They don't. You have to name them yourself. Oh yeah, I mean... You can name your characters. They're RPGs, but they have, like, canonical names. They don't have default names in Dragon Quest. Oh. That's why the character in Smash is just called Hero. It's gonna be... Pretty good for Lance Drago. Has to worry about. Oh my god! Oh my god! Has to worry about that. Oh. Okay. Man All right. Manages to survive okay. it though. Okay. Okay. Oh, gets beautifully through the right using the small ball cube and also gets to vanish. Pretty sweet that you played this in an actual arcade, if that's true. I can't imagine this is like a super popular cabinet. Seems like the kind of game that would be on one of those like 5001 cabinets. <laughs> well, it's not Neo Geo, so it wasn't back in the day, but... Ah, that's where you've been. Don't go where you've been. <laughs> but... Words to live by. Yeah. Always always travel to new places. Um, Yorkie has so much trouble. Level 9. And Lenstrago is just 5 levels away. Well... Beating five levels from the end of the goal. What? Looked like Lance Drago was aiming. Come on. <laughs> it's this. This thing is rigged. Ball gate. Um, are there any extends? I guess it wouldn't really matter for this, but it would matter if you were having to spend quarters. I hear you. So, Yorkie has been stuck on this for so long, and we've talked about this where you, at some point, you know you're behind, or you think you know you're behind. And now, a racer in the room has got done at just about 40 minutes. And, like, if you're still on level 9 out of 26, you gotta, like, start thinking, man, I am so far behind. That's true. <clears throat> in that Rolling Thunder race that I referenced earlier, Neatzel was one of the four people, and I know Neatzel finished in like 20 minutes. More sporters. That's alright. No one will remember. Yeah, that's true. Ah! Yorkie just aims for the pit. It's just like a... Like a study on this, where if you drive a car, and you want to avoid a tree or something, that people who don't play video games are more inclined to just literally crash into the tree just because they're trying to avoid it. And playing video games will help you not do that. Yeah. And I feel like that's yeah. what's happening yeah. to Yorkie. He's like trying to <laughs> avoid these pits and just literally aiming for them accidentally. Yeah. There's a TV show called Canada's Worst Driver 
where they teach really bad people how to drive. Okay. And the, like, really bad driving. Why is it Canada? They're not, yeah, yeah, they're not, like, criminals. Um, <laughs> but, well, some of them are, you know, road criminals, in a sense. But, um... Okay. Road the, criminals. Uh, like Mad Max. You know, like parking tickets and things like and accidents and things. But, um... Look where you want to go is something that they talk about a lot, um, and it's it's very true. Like where if you're looking at the obstacle you're trying to avoid, you're instinctively going to steer toward it. Yeah. And I think I feel like that's what's happening here sometimes. Just accidentally aiming for the for the gap. Oh, Lance Rail clear twenty two. I I don't remember, but one level gave me a lot of issues. Close to the end. I don't know which one of these it is. This one doesn't look too hard because there's lots of opportunities to get behind the board. And I don't think it was the last one either. So maybe Lance Dragon has already passed it. Oh, doesn't want to see. Gets to see anyway. Let's see how that works out. Oh, option is going to be good for this. So much, so much metal around here. Yeah, small is uh, C is the small, the big toggle. If you check the pinned paste bin, that has explanations of the power ups, including twin, which we just never see. Oh, this is a clear. Unless this yeah, triangle exactly is agreed. part of it. Clear. It's a clear. Level twenty-four. Three more levels for Lance. Oh, this is the one, I think. This is the level that gave me a lot of issues. Oh, let's go. <laughs> don't just... Don't just walk off the cliff like a, like a lemming. Yeah, we're big fans of Bob around here. We got in, we got in the game early. Getting in at the ground floor. <laughs> Wait, where's my return investment? <laughs> yeah, th this level gave me a lot of issues. Remember that. It's tough to get into the top section there. But Landstrike were actually doing a really good job. Oh, Arrow! Arrow is OP. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this level seems kind of free with the Arrow. Arrow 2. Level 25, two more levels. Pokemon detected. <laughs> it's a strong, it's a strong meme that we have going with that. I like it. Um, that gets the okay, change. Back to small. Yeah, good idea. Looking good. Your respawn is big, so like dying between levels, or actually like not dying between levels, it's maybe a bigger deal than you would think. Yeah. Oh, we're big again. But maybe it doesn't this matter. This level isn't super dense, but all these triangles seem to make things kind of annoying. It has to get like above the top right somehow. Yeah, like that. Ah, oh, beautiful. There we go. It's really well done by Lance Drago. Yeah. Yoki beat level nine while I wasn't looking. But, uh, yeah, like, uh, a few minutes ago. Has been on ten for a while. Ten is also kind of a tricky one. Yeah, but Lance Drago is on the last letter of the alphabet. It's gonna be like, <laughs> I mean, like that would be a miracle for this race to turn out any other way than Lance Drago taking it. In the next stream. Yeah. If Lance Drago like died. Oh we got <laughs> then a twin. That would pretty much be the only way. Oh twin is really good? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh this oh, is my the God. twin. Lance Drago just falls in the tiny gap. I don't think so, Himpoli. I think it's just like kind of random at the bottom where the small and the big ones end up. I don't really know why. 
Does your twin have arrow? No, it doesn't. It doesn't destroy the blocks at the bottom, though, which is nice. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. That's... Another death for Lance Drago. His stock is back to nothing. He's basically like a... like a GME holding Redditor. Oh, one more, one more, that's it! Uh, Another death for Lance Drago. <laughs> Every time I look over to the other player, they immediately die. <laughs> <laughs> you just close your eyes. Yeah, maybe that's, that's like good for the, the race. That's what I always, I, I don't really do it anymore, but when I was like younger, if, if like a loading screen was taking a really long time, yes. I would like close my eyes like I didn't care. Yeah, or when and you then... download something and like the speed is going down, you look away because yeah. obviously that's what's making it go slow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but Lance Drago has to be sweating. Like he doesn't have a reason to sweat, but he doesn't know it because we just had two more dot duns in race, like literally seconds oh apart. Gosh. And like Lance Drago has been stuck on 26 for, for a few minutes now, has taken a few deaths that were maybe a little unnecessary. Like, like that feels bad. We know it doesn't matter, but Lance Drago, if, if I was in his shoes, I would be sweating bullets. Okay, looking good. Looking good. Yeah. Twin doing work. Oh my god, this twin oh, is, man. is just crazy. Gonna be a clear, just from the top. Yeah, just play it safe. No reason to do anything crazy, and that's it. Level 27. Yahoo! And that's a dot done at 48.31. Ball cube. Ball cube. What a game. Ball cube, ball cube, ball cube! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> like at the end of uh, The Wizard. But they all shear for Super Mario 3. <laughs> the power glove, it's so bad. <laughs> he doesn't even use the power glove in the finals, maybe that's why he lost. <laughs> but it really puts you in tune with the game, that's the best. Wait, look, the... I can't believe we don't control everything like that nowadays. The default name entry is Ball. And, like, so only three letters fit, maybe that's why it's called Ball Cube. That'd be an awesome reason. I hope that that's the reason that it's <laughs> going to argue. comment, cube too fast. Cube too ball. <laughs> ah, oh. Yorkie, come on! It's, I mean, <laughs> it's easy to say, but I remember it happening to me all the time. And it just feels so bad, because, like, the gap is tiny! Hello? And we can't hear you yet. I expected my, me to wrap my head around that a lot more than I did, because I played Arkanoid all the time as a kid. It's it's a little different because you control the ball and not the pedal. Well, that and not to mention it gains so much acceleration if you're not careful. I saw that uh, by the end you were skipping over the seas to stay small, which uh, was confirmed by a ball cube expert in chat to be a good strategy. Professional ball cube e yeah. player. Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely sponsored. skipped some of them because they just weren't helpful. Going big is just a detriment in this game. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, especially in the 20s or so, there were so many small gaps that you just weren't going to be able to do anything about if you were still big.
Yeah, I th you really started to get the hang of it. Like, average time on the levels went down as the race went on, I feel like. Right around level, like, 12 or 13, you started to, started to cruise. Yeah, a little bit. Wasn't really feeling like it, to be honest. Considering I was dying five or six times at least per level. I played this. I played this in MT15, not as my match, but as joining. And I remember just feeling so stupid every time the ball went through yeah. the tiny gap at the bottom. Like, how could this happen to yeah. me three times in a row? Like, and so many times I think I hit the. Like, I think I'm slipping by where I hit the last big one, but nope, I fall right in the hole. Mm. Just not to mention when you get caught too far at the bottom, you just, a few times I know, I just bounced instantly and couldn't do anything about it. Yeah. You just bound, start bouncing rapidly back and forth. Yeah. But yeah, congrats on your win. Let me check who you're moving up against, which will probably be complicated. Yeah, you're moving into a, yeah, a match. Yeah, loser's bracket, so I doubt nobody's there. You're going to play against the loser of Nakarashi and Terfall? I don't know, it's a German word, so I'll just pronounce it Germanly. Guess I'll have to watch out for that, then. Mystery Tournament is a tournament where you play a 20 to 60 minute goal for a game that you do not know what it is until the moment that um, the game gets pulled and you are told how to download and how to play the game. So the people who are playing have not played the games before and that's kind of the major thing. It's a complete mystery to both players. It's about how quickly you can pick stuff up. It's about game skill. Yeah, a lot about it's like about a few sight reading. Yeah. Understanding what skills you will have to like focus on. Like in this game, game you want to focus on like strategy of which site you want to clear and like get above the board maybe. But also about getting a hang of the controls. And also read the pace bit. Always. Always. It's a, mystery tournament is a, is a an exercise in reading. I just saw the pace bin has lore. There once was a cube named Ball who liked to knock blocks off a wall. The controls got all tangled and he hit the wrong angle. And off the screen, Ball did fall. Yeah. Accurate. What are these called? It's like Limerick? Limerick? Yeah, Limerick. Oh, so, yeah. I don't know. I think they're like Irish or British or something in origin. I guess I don't know exactly. Yeah, something like that, I think. But yeah, congrats on your win. And I wish you the best of luck in your next round. Yep, thanks, and I'll go ahead and head out since it looks like another match is starting. What? Oh, jeez. Is it? It is! He knew about it, he didn't tell me. I figured you knew! I, I, I don't get notifications when I'm live. Oh, that's true. Well, yes, we have a good game. Another match is about to start happening. I just need to pull the game. No, my... The games get submitted by the people who are in the tournament, um, or we grab them from previous tournaments. And, uh... and sometimes the submissions are good. Yeah. Well, we, we, they're all tested to make sure that they're fair. Um, good is, is subjective, but... Oh, Yorkie! That's where the hole was. 
We make sure that the games aren't, you know, governed by RNG or stuff like that. Yeah. Imagine, like, a game where, like, a literal dice is rolled, and depending on the number, you play a different number of I levels. I never let that one through. <laughs> It wasn't even my match and I'm pissed off about that game. And I won the race. See, that, that's like an outlier. I don't like the game even though I won the race. Maurice <laughs> <laughs> is referring to the great game Gunstar Heroes, which is a good game. It is a good game, yeah! Until the, really the literally off. called Dice Palace. Yeah. Perfect myth is here. I can mute so I can type stuff on my keyboard without making a racket. Hello. Oh. Hi. I uh, I had to mute the stream and and then join this. So there's like a, a chunk I missed. All I heard was Dice Palace and my mind went to Gunstar Heroes. Yes, I was complaining about Gunstar Heroes being a bad mystical. Yeah, that one level, huh? Yes! <laughs> it's like the last level in, um, what's it called? The, the, the Cuphead. Except you can't control what the dice roll is. You can in that game. You can time it. Mm. But you can't do that in Gunstar Heroes. Now imagine rolling once all day. And the other player rolls like the perfect amounts to get you through two or three bosses, whatever it is. That the, the speedrun does. Yeah, it's really... It's not great for so many reasons. Like, even if you have an equal number of rolls, you're still probably going to get different bosses, and, and those will take different amounts of time, or be easier or harder. And then, God forbid, one of you lands on the square that sends you all the way back yeah. to the start yeah, of yeah, the yeah, board. Yeah. <laughs> but other than that, it, it was be... a really cool game. Yeah. Is, is it the a one... Really, really cool game. Is it the one with those crazy bosses that, like, list all their attacks and stuff or was that a different game yeah that's that's gunstar heroes yeah I, I a lot of other treasure <laughs> games but definitely that game that was so funny seven force tail tail force tiger claw giga blaster <laughs> yeah <laughs> all that <laughs> stuff oh wow at least i know what i'll die to uh-huh We're getting a Christmas game. Oh. Alright, I guess... About time. It's been an hour. Your key. About halfway through the goal. Making good progress. A little. Ever since beating 9. Yeah, look, look. yeah, maybe something finally clicked, you know? It's using the small ball, so maybe that helps a lot. Small ball cube. Small cube. Small cube? Oh, oh my god. Really good. That's the sequel. <laughs> you get the small cube all the time. They realize that everyone just always plays with the small cube anyway. Yeah, on to level 13. So, we wish New Yorkie the best of luck as we set up the next race. 